Hey y'all, it's Angela here again with Chicken Coop, and today we're going to make pepper sauce, southern pepper sauce for your greens, your peas, all that kind of stuff. So I tried to find curettes like this to, to make the pepper sauce in, and I had a hard time finding those. But, I, so I went online and I found these bottles. These are like bottles that you would make beer with. But I kind of like them because you can actually put a lot more peppers in them. And so this is one that I've made a couple of weeks ago. So I'm just gonna show y'all kind of how, how it looked, how pretty it looked. And I have some other ones that are like green with just a few reds in them. And I have reds with just a few greens in them. And so they're just really pretty and festive. And it's just, you know, one of those easy, uh, bell type bottles. There you go. This one's kind of hard because it's new. All right. So, uh, what you do is you need some vinegar. So, this is a one quart little saucepan. So, I'm going to pour, I'm going to fill that up. I'm spilling vinegar everywhere. Because it doesn't, once you get the peppers in here, it doesn't take much to fill these up. And I'm going to, I've got more to do than just these two little jars, so. And then I'm going to put, oh, probably about a teaspoon of salt in there. So you want to heat this up on the stove. You don't want to boil it, you just want to heat it up. While that's heating up, we're gonna put our peppers in our jars. So let me put this over here on the stove a minute. I also got a little funnel. Let me set this there. Okay, so now you need, so you have your peppers, and I've already done this because I had this big uh, colander of peppers, but it's so easy. All you have to do is snap off the stems, and I just have a few left. I saved them, so I hope I can demonstrate this. So you just sit here and you just snap off the snap off the ends. Easy. Some of them snap better than others. Like that one snapped easy. This one will snap easy. So they just snap off. And that'll make it easier for the pepper sauce to get inside your peppers, okay? My husband said he found that, because he was helping me with this, that if you kind of have the pepper with the curly side up like that and then pop it off, it pops off real easy. So this is the part, I'm, I've got all sorts of different sizes of peppers. Um, if you have a bottle, though, if you put the smaller peppers on bottom and the bigger peppers on top, the bigger peppers will kind of hold those smaller peppers in so they don't float around so bad. But I'm going to save these smaller peppers for this smaller jar anyways. So just this easy, just putting peppers in here. This would be a good project for your a little bit older grandbabies. Um, you you know be careful and tell them you know not to put touch their eyes or anything though You're not really touching much on here on the pepper like you would be if you're cutting them up or anything Let's see here Find a red one Put a few red in there and you kind of keep shaking that'll help get your peppers down Okay, so it's filled up. Let me work on this one while that's still heating.
field. Just be careful when you're pouring so that you don't overfill this jar because it can happen pretty quick. So see, it's just filled up with pepper sauce. You let that sit for, you know, three or four weeks and you will have some good Southern pepper sauce. It is simple. It's one of the most simplest things that you can do here on your homestead. And I'm gonna use all these peppers and I'm gonna give them as gifts for Christmas time. So hope you enjoyed it and hope y'all make some pepper sauce. It's so simple. So thanks for visiting with me and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.